Good day everyone. Good day sir. My name is Troy Alessandro Campo and uh, the topic is that I'm going to report is about the crime scene processing. So uh, let's start. Crime scene processing. So crime scene processing is a slow metho methodical si systematic and orderly process that involves protocols and processing methodolo methodology. So uh, crime scene processing uh, e, uh, helps to uh, properly analyze and interpret any crime scene. So certain basic, basic steps must be followed in order to create a sense, sense of beginning and sensible conclusion to the examination. So the steps employed to adequately assess any crime scene are first is the interview. So uh, interview uh, crime is a uh, in the interview crime scene technician must interview first officer who responded to the crime scene or the victim to determine the hypothesis of the case. So in this step, uh, basically, the, the interview consists of questions about what allegedly happened, um, what crime took place, and how was the crime committed. So um, these que questions will form hypothesis, which is uh, which is proposed explanation or idea for a certain situation. This, this information may not be factual information, but it will give the crime scene technician a base, uh, base from a base from where which uh, he or she will will go will be going to start. So, um, example, uh, if there is a crime happen, so technician must conduct interview to the area, then the answers, the answers of that, for example, the answers of the first officer and the victim of the crime is, for example, the question is um, uh, about uh, what allegedly happened. So, uh, the answer of that is, uh, there is a person killed. Then the next is what crime took place. Then there was uh, taking advantage of superior strength. And next question is, how was the crime committed? So, killing by strangulation. So, this, these answers will serve as the first step to, first step to in shedding light for the case so this will be his basis on on creating a hypothesis about the crime the next is examine so this step involves examination to exa establish if the theory of the case is corroborated by what the crime scene technician observes so um, why they need to why they need to examine the scene so because it is crucial examining the scene to identify possible items of uh, evident charity nature also identify point of entry and point of exit and most importantly getting the general layout of the crime scene so uh, examination of the scene will ensure if the theory of technician is accurate to what the technician observes in the crime scene so um, evidences found in the scene by examination will confirm confirm if the said jury is accurate and correct next is photograph so photographing the crime scene this step this steps is to uh, to chronicle a pictorial view of what the the scene looks like and to record items of possible evidence so uh, we we always observe uh, we, we always observe when there is a 
crime scene investigation there is there is a uh, photographer which uh, conducting or taking photos to the evidences and other important details in the crime scene so the purpose of this uh, crime scene photography is to provide a true and accurate record of the crime scene and also physical evidence present so by recording the original scene in the areas by the use of camera so they will they will, the details important details will be recorded so no matter how well an investigator can verbally describe a crime scene so photograph photographs can uh, uh, can tell chronicle a point of view of what the scene looks like describe a crime scene story better and and they describe more they describe the situation describe more about the situation because it easily freezes time and records the evidences so uh, forensic photography is integral part of trial and and also the judgment of often is based upon crime scene photographs so crime scene photographs are generally taken in two categories overall view as you can see in the picture that is the um, the overall view or overall photography and the second one is the items of evidence photography so um, overall view captures the global aspects of the crime scene so the, pur the, the purpose is to show exactly where the scene was and to show all boundaries of the scene so it is photograph uh, in a <clears throat> in a long distance or it, it is photograph in a wide angle and the the next is the item of evidence so it is about a deliberate depiction of individual items of evidence so they must show all sides of the item and clearly show any markings defects or other identifying features so it is usually photographed uh, near uh, it the picture usually photograph in a close-up angle to as what I have said to 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 show any markings defects or other identifying features so each photograph is usually taken twice once with a scale and once without a scale uh, the the, exa the example picture is a a shoe print with a scale uh, with a scale because uh, to, to to identify the size of the shoe print so <clears throat> this example is a is a photograph with uh, is is a item of item of evidence with a scale so the next is the sketch so the sketch graphically portrays the scene of a crime and items within crime scene that are of interest to the investigation sketches are necessary to effectively process the crime scene so um, sketches demonstrates the layout of the crime scene to, or to identify the exact position of the deceased victim or evidence within the crime scene. So the sketch is crucial in 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 this, the sketch is a step that is crucial in investigation as it accurate accurately portrays precise location and precise location or measurement and relationship of objects and evidence at the crime scene so sketches portrays the senses between objects and reflect 
truthful uh, measurements as you can see in the picture so as you can see in the picture there are exact measurements and exact layout of the crime scene also um, letters and symbols as you can see in the picture are are visible in the in that sketch to identify objects it provides also a valuable source of information for both trial and defense counsel so, so there are two types of sketch which are the rough and finish so as you can see the, the example is the finish or the completed sketch so um, both this both the rough and finish sketch contain same general information but they only differ in technique in presenting information because the the rough sketch is is a, like a a visual prototype of a sketch of a full sketch so rough sketch produced quickly and without much concern for composition or even aesthetics while the the finish or the completed sketch is is proper and linings are straight and it composed of it concerns about the the concerns about the composition and the completed sketch have a have the aesthetics that also uh, makes a sketch easy to be easily understand the next is the process so in the process crime scene technician will sort out the crime scene for evidence both physical and testimonial evidence so in this step technicians responsibility is to identify evaluate and collect physical evidence from the crime scene for further analysis by by a crime laboratory so so um the process is all about the collection of physical evidence in a ma in a manner that preserves the evidence in a, in a condition in which it was found so it does does not matter whether the evidence is a bulky item such as weapon or evidences that not visible to the naked eye a trace material such as a hair or a biological sample such as a blood or even the body of the deceased person the the aim is always to protect and preserve the evidence for recovery so that it can be forensically examined at some later time and collection and analyzation of testimonies from the victims of witnesses of the crime is the is one of the part of the step process so witness have personal knowledge because witness have personal knowledge of the of the crime or of the matter that can that can be share for the clarification or to provide valuable information of the crime so we are done about the the steps in the crime scene processing so let's proceed to the hypothesis of the case so hypothesis of the case deals with the alleged happened what crime took place and how was the crime committed so a hypothesis of the case is a, a supposition or proposed explanation made on the basis of limited evidence as a starting point for further investigation so um, hypothesis is a specific testable prediction more specifically it describes in concrete terms what you expect about what happened 
in the crime. So, hypothesis is constructed before any applicable observation or examination happens. While on the other, ha on the other hand, theory of the case is about beliefs regarding the base on the beliefs regarding based on the evidence, patterns, leads, tips, and other information developed and uncovered in the case. So, um, theory is supported by limited evidences only. So, it is like an, a, it is like an attempt to explain the crime scene with only limited evidences and information that needs, that needs to have further examination to confirm if that particular theory is right so let's proceed let's proceed to the expert witness so expert witness is a person with specialized skills skill set whose opinion may help a jury make sense of the factual evidence of a case expert witness case uh, expert witness may be called to explain the jury to the proper interpretation of evidence at hand. So, expert witness. So, expert witness is a person who is per permitted to testify at a trial, at a trial, because uh, because of the special knowledge or proficiency in of the expert witness in the in particular field that is relevant to the case. So, expert witness assist the judge and jury in reaching a decision. So, the expert witness witness are useful to clarify or explain and provide opinions on complex matters that the average person would not typically understand. Expert witnesses also often instructed in cases where Expert evidence is necessary to enable the court to understand specific issues such as capacity, intent, causation, etc. Expert evidence may be important in determining the right outcome. For example, in the cases where a uh, mental disorder is an issue, so the 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 testimony or evidence of a psychiatrist may be may influence the conduct of legal proceedings. So it may help to explain medical evidence relevant to trial and may be the deciding factor between imprisonment and mental health treatment. So that's why expert witnesses are very uh, crucial in the decisions of the court because they provide the the, the special knowledge about a particular in the particular field which is very uh, which is relevant in the case so that's all thank you uh, stay safe and god bless sir